Hello everyone, welcome back to Engineering Lee. Today, we're diving into a crucial project management tool, the Milestone Chart. We will be learning how to create and customize a Milestone Chart in Excel to effectively track key events and deliverables in your projects. So firstly, what is a Milestone Chart? In project management, it's a visual representation that shows the key milestones or significant events within the project's timeline. It's a great tool to provide high-level overview of project progress and to communicate major goals and deliverables to your team and stakeholders. As mentioned earlier, in this milestone chart, we have the key events or key points in our project's timeline. For example, we have the notice to proceed, then we have the design package approval, and then the construction starts and the construction ends, and last but not least, we have the project acceptance and handover. And as you can see, on the x-axis in here, we have the dates. So basically, it shows our project's progress over time. On the top here, we have the legends for all these colors. For example, the blue ones indicates that these milestones are completed, while the yellow one indicates that this one is delayed, while the one with this reddish color indicates that the milestone hasn't been started yet. So let's get started and let's learn how it is done in Microsoft Excel. So basically in Microsoft Excel, this is the type of the data you would need for such a milestone chart. So under the milestone, we have the milestone names, then we have our X axis, which is the dates, and then we have our Y axis. So basically the position here means that these milestones, each of them should be placed on the Y axis. For example, milestone number one should be placed at Y equal to five, and then we come down here, which is project acceptance and handover, this should be placed at the Y equals to one. In order to plot a milestone chart, we will use scatter charts. So I'll go to insert in here, select the scatter chart, I'll select this one. Right click on the chart that you inserted, which is blank right now, then go to select data. So for the data in here, we will have the X axis, which is basically the dates in here. And then we have the Y axis, which are these values in here. So I'll select this and then click OK. So as you can see, somehow we have created the initial draft of our milestone chart, while some formatting is still needed. In order to do that formatting, first of all, let's remove this chart title from here since we won't need it. And then uh, click on the grid lines on the, in the Y axis and grid lines on the X axis. And in the same time, let's remove the labels from the Y axis. Now click on the line in here, then right click, form a data series, and from the fill in line in here, I'll click the line and I'll click no line, since I don't want to see that line in here connecting all of these dots. I'll go to marker. Under the marker, what I will do is, first of all, I'll change these circular shapes into a milestone or diamond shape. So I'll go and click built in from here, I'll select a diamond and I'll increase the size, for example, to 10, press enter. And next thing would be to make this a little bit bigger in the X axis. So we have the dates clearly visible. And next would be to add the names of the milestones to all these points in here. So I'll click this and then I'll go to add chart element, then I'll click data labels Right now, let's select above. So as you can see right now, we have the Y values in here. So for that purpose, I'll click the data labels in here and go to label options. And in the label options, I will uncheck the Y value and I'll select values from cells. And for this one, I'll select these values and click OK. So if I want to change these positions, for example, it's not clearly readable, so I'll move them to the left, and here you go. So here is the baseline milestone chart. So once it gets updated, for example, you want to see this one is completed and you have a specific color in mind. For example, let's color this green. So for that purpose, what you will do is click these points, click specifically again on this one, and go to fill from here, and in the marker, uh, under the fill, I'll change the color to, for example, green. 
And if this one is delayed, I'll change this, for example, to red. So this is how you can further format your milestone chart and use them in your projects. So here are some quick tips about milestone charts. Ensure your data is always up to date. Use different colors to differentiate critical milestones and don't overload your chart with too many details. Keep it simple and focused on the key events. And that's it. A simple yet effective milestone chart and Excel to keep your project on track. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe for more project management and Excel tips. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.